Hello, today we decided, I decided to run my uh, used toil reformer. Here's the temperature, you can see it's rising. I wouldn't say it's rising rapidly, but quite fast. Just only switch it on. Here's a cooler. Here's a reformer itself. Not big. I made few improvements. Today I'm gonna use some glass jars so you would be able to see. Would be able to see the production, actual production. There's nothing yet, but very soon we're gonna get something. It's a first trial after big refurbishing, rebuilding. So here we're gonna get the planning to get the main product, it's a diesel fuel. Here's a kerosene. Here's a petrol. I don't think there's going to be much, but some in here. So I didn't have any vessel to collect it. Use this one. It's not transparent. You can't see, but probably you'll see it later. Uh, here's a drum with oil. It's used oil. Sorry. So it's a automatic transmission fluid. I'm going to fix it somehow, and we'll carry on. Is our temperature? Is our stream? I think it could be increased. I'll try to increase it a bit. There's no kerosene yet. But oh yes, there's a few drops already, and also we've got some gas over there. Shouldn't be, because there's a special uh, overflow uh, lockers, so they should lock the flow of the gas or light fractions in a minute, anytime in a minute, and then everything will go through the top column either condense or return back to the column to the reformer so this thing wasn't run for a long time so it's not primed it should be primed all the time by itself but anyway we've got some spittings of the oil coming out red soil and we're running at 359 degrees I believe I should increase the flow. And again, we're processing uh, used transmission fluid, automatic transmission fluid. It's very windy today. Here's a system, complete system. Here's a hopper for treatment with the reagent and uh, catalyst inside. So I do use catalyst in uh, reform as well. Here's our drum with oil. Here's an oil, it's vibrating, it's pumping, it's pumped, so my hand is shaking as well. Okay, now I will try to increase the flow a bit. Again, here's our stream. Uh, the system itself is about, um, I would say, about two and a half kilowatt system combined. Not that much, and we're running at 366 degrees Celsius currently. the stream already we've got one liter that says very fast I would say about seven liters six seven liters per hour uh, now we haven't got any fumes coming out of this particular pipe 
I've got some lighter fractions like a kerosene. These are two pipes. I combine them together so I don't see a big difference. Here's a petrol pipe. Still got some fumes. Not much though, so it goes there straight away. Uh, I don't know, probably it should be cooled a little bit more, but it's more like a petroleum gas, you can't do anything. You need to cool it down to, I don't know, below the zero. And we've got 25 outside, and the cooling water is about 25 as well. I've got an ambient temperature to cool it. It's a cooler. Probably I'm gonna build some kind of cryogenic cooler later on or deep cooling or vacuum collection of the stuff. Okay. So we finished for today. Here's uh, some sample. This is simple. It's not that clear. It's sort of darkish. But it's not like an oil from the engine. It's sort of clear. But it still contains a lot of stuff in there. Uh, it's got an asphalt and everything like that. So you can see the sediments on the bottom. Uh, it's more like a tar. So if you'll use it straight away more, uh, in your engine, more likely you're gonna end up with something like that in your fuel system. And in your engine, everything's gonna be gummed, glued, and everything like that. So, here's a sample. I'm gonna leave it for a while to compare with the final product is my hopper uh, is a fuel that I've distilled today from the used oil and again it's been automatic oil uh, automatic transmission oil and little bit of uh, motor oil in there sort of mix mostly transmission oil uh, not that dirty, quite clear. So I've got about, I uh, would say, 12 liters of the stuff produced today. And uh, I'm gonna treat it. And later, um, later I'll show the difference between the sample and between this treated fuel. And I'll try to run my engine on that, uh, my diesel generator. Thank you.